Hey, what's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek. And on today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we're going to be doing an in-the-field review of these guys right here. The Ribbed Rider Duck Guards from Original Dobo. These are intended for the DJI Avada to protect the ducks on the drone from damage, whether you crash or it falls out of the sky, whatever the case may be. We're also going to be doing sort of like a secondary review of this guy back here, also by Original Dobo. It's the DJI Avada Battery Jock Strap. It's intended to keep the battery strapped into place, again, on impact or just in general, sort of just an extra layer of protection. Really excited to get out into the field and test out the ribbed rider and also see how the jock strap does. So without further ado, let's get into it. The latest innovation from Original Dubu will make you quiver with satisfaction. Introducing the new Ribbed Rider Duck Guards for the DJI Avada. Fly with peace of mind knowing your Avada is protected, so you can go as hard and fast as you like. Using state-of-the-art TPU material, the ribs absorb energy upon impact to keep your Avada safe from damage. It's ribbed for your pleasure during the roughest poundings imaginable. And from the creator of the Ribbed Rider Duck Guards comes the Avada Battery Jock Strap. Original Dobo does it again and protects your Avada's most valuable package via this cutting-edge technology. Order your Ribbed Rider Duck Guards today. The link is in the description below. Babe, what are you waiting for? Show your Avada the time of her life by ordering now. Okay, so we are here back at Thompson Street Park. We're in front of the PJ Fioretti Memorial Basketball Courts, and uh, we're not gonna be flying on the Macadam uh, because that would definitely not go well. I don't care if we do have the ribbed rider on it. Uh, I feel like it'd be the end of my Avada if we did any crash testing in there on the pavement. So we're gonna stick out here in the body of the park where we've got plenty of grass. A uh, Couple things about this test of the ribbed rider. First of all, we're gonna be looking at the durability of the ribbed rider itself. Does it break under any ter certain type of duress or impact? anything like that. We're going to really take a good look at that. We're also going to obviously take a look at whether or not it actually helps to protect the ducks on the DJI Avada. I've got full confidence in the ribbed rider though. I think it's going to do exactly what it's supposed to do and protect the ducks from damage on impact. On that note though, this is my drone. I did pay my own money for this. This was not sent to me. This was not gifted to me. Uh, this came directly out of my pocket. And for that reason, we're not going to stress test this to the point that I'm going to put this into a wall full speed. I would love to be able to do that, to really put the ribbed rider to a true and ultimate test. Uh, but today we are only going to do very controlled crashes and we're going to do our best to keep the Avada in one piece. It is a pretty hardy little drone. So I'm not super concerned about what I have in mind for it. I think it's going to do just as well as it needs to and i think it's going to hold up just fine we may lose some propellers i've got some spares in the bag but other than that i don't expect to see this drone out of commission at the end of this shoot so again this is the ribbed rider duck guard from original dobo ken dono 3d printed these we slapped them on the dji avada so before we get into the actual test impact test uh, for this this particular product, I do want to show you how to apply them onto the drone because it's not difficult. But I did have like a huh moment at first when I was uh, initially putting these on the drone. So let's go ahead. We'll pop these off. And I'll show you how to put them right back on. So after taking this one off, I realized um, it's kind of hard to take them off. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Not terribly difficult, but you do need to, especially with this centerpiece right here, you do need to put a little bit of additional elbow grease. I don't know if I did that high enough in the camera. So right there and then right there, there's a corresponding piece to it. Uh, so this is real simple. I'm just going to go ahead and do my best here. You'll see that you have two notches on either duct ring. Those are going to actually fold under the duct. So we'll put it on just like that. Hopefully that's in focus. We'll put them on just like that and we'll pick one side to start with. So we'll fold the top lip over and we've already got one of our little prongs on and then that snaps on just like that. The next part of this is really crucial because if you don't do it this way, you're, you, I mean, you're not gonna have any success. You're gonna go ahead and take that triangle piece there. That's meant to fit in that little gap right there on the ducts. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and line that up. And you're just gonna push that. It takes a little bit of, like I said, elbow grease to get that in there. Let's go ahead and switch our angle. So just push that in there, fold the lip over a little bit on the other side, bingo. So we're all the way in there. And then from here, it's just basically an inverse of what we did before. Just fold the lip over and just make sure that these are latched on the underside of the duct and you're good to go. You have your ribbed rider duct guards on your DJI Avada. So we're ready to go. The only other thing I wanna spotlight before we get this thing in the air and start putting it to the test is Ken, being the nice guy that Ken is, also sent me the jock strap. So I, this is intended, there have been issues in the past with the Avada when you hit a hard enough impact that the battery will actually fly out. And in fact, Ken has a video on that where he actually discovers an Avada battery that whether it fell out of the drone itself or it fell out of his bag, I can't remember at the time of this recording, but essentially he lost one of his batteries out of the back of his Avada and that's what inspired the creation of this guy, the jock strap. We'll go ahead and do a quick how-to on how to put that in. You'll see you have two little lips on either end there. They're gonna go down into the gaps on the back legs, okay? So, or arms, whatever you wanna call them. You're just gonna go ahead, line those up as best you can. And again, you just sort of have to finagle this, but push it down and you'll know you have it all the way in and secured when you can see the power button and then the power indicator in those little gaps that he left for it. So we are totally protected. This is the safest I've felt in a very long time flying this drone. Ken does some really cool stuff. All of his products are really, really high quality. I've got no doubt about it. This is gonna be a good review and everything is gonna go as swimmingly as possible. Okay, so we have our DJI Avada on, ready to go. We've got a GoPro at the base of the fence filming at 120 frames per second. We may change that to 240 frames per second for another take during another crash. For now, we're gonna keep it at 120. And we've also got this main camera rolling on the fence. And the fence is going to be the first place that we actually conduct our crash test for the ribbed rider duck guards. So go ahead and put the drone in the air and we will get started. Okay, we do have a slight cross breeze here. It's gonna make things interesting. I'm gonna start by putting it in normal mode and I'm gonna go about half speed into the fence. I'm gonna do my best to get this all on camera. So ready, three, two, one. Okay, so yeah, I mean, everything looks good in terms of the duck guard as well as the Avada. If the duck guard suffers damage, that's when I'll really take a look at whether or not the Avada was damaged. But the duck guard doesn't have any damage on it. Bounced right off the fence. Now, granted, this first target that we're doing this with does have some give to it. So this is probably starting on easy mode for the Avada duck guard, the ribbed rider duck guard from original Dobo. But we're gonna do another one at full speed into the fence uh, and that will be in normal mode. We'll go ahead and we'll step it up to full speed at sport mode. We don't need to do half speed at sport mode. And then we'll go ahead and see if we can maybe find another object we can crash into. I'm not gonna do any testing here today in manual mode. Okay, this is gonna be test number two in normal mode. We're gonna go ahead and put it right into the fence and we're gonna go full speed this time in normal mode. So let's hope that everything goes well and the rib rider does its job. Ready, three, two, one. All right, so yeah, no damage, none. Do have a little scuff on the top of the drone and that begs the question, do these ribs do the, the job of sticking out far enough to prevent anything like that? Now, the drone was sort of at a forward angle, makes me a little nervous about testing this in sport mode because as this goes faster and faster, the angle, the pitch forward is actually going to increase. So the drone body will be less straight on, letting the rib rider do its job, and it'll be more flat. So we're gonna do our best to make sure that the rib rider is the initial point of impact. Let's go ahead and switch it to sport mode now. We'll go ahead and see what we can get out of the drone that way. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be our first test in sport mode with the rib rider duck guards for the DJI Avada. Impact in three, two. Wow, did you see that? Yeah. 
That's amazing. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. Impact in three, two, Okay, so, wow. Strategy behind that was, and I thought about this in between takes, we're gonna go full speed and get the momentum going in sport mode. But instead of having the drone hit flat, which wouldn't really demonstrate the true power of the ribbed rider, I'm gonna let off the throttle just before the impact. The inertia forward will carry it into the fence around the same speed that it was going, and that's really gonna put this to the test. Now, we have no damage to the DJI Avada. I am damn impressed by this thing. The other thing I'm impressed by is the jock strap. Jock strap stayed in place. We've not lost our battery on any one of these impacts. Everything about what Ken's selling here is working. So I'm really, really liking it. Let's go ahead and find something that doesn't have as much give to it. We'll put this into the side of it, see how it fares. Okay, we found a more immovable object. Let's go ahead, put this up see what it can do against this building. Okay, as I said, we are gonna go about half speed normal mode for this first take. We're then gonna go full speed normal mode, and then we're gonna end it with a full speed sport mode to see how it goes. So, impact coming in three, two, one. Okay, so on this, a little more scuffing. Definitely a little more scuffing. I figured this would happen against an immovable object. But the nice thing is more unexpected protection <laughs> from original Dobo. The Avada GoPro mount that we reviewed in a previous video is actually bearing a lot of the brunt of the damage taken to the top of the Avada. And I use the word damage very loosely because there's really no actual damage. I've just got some paint transfer and some dirt here. I'll just make sure that's what it is. Oh yeah, no, this is just paint and dirt transfer from the side of the building to the Avada. So no damage done yet. The ribbed rider duck guards are doing exactly what they say they do. So let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. Full speed, normal mode. Okay, full speed, normal mode in three, two, one. Uh-oh, something fell off. So not impervious, doesn't protect everything, definitely protected the duct again. 10 out of 10 on the duct protection where we lost a, a little comrade here. It's actually in the propeller and it actually chipped it in such a way that we lost an entire portion of the propeller at the base of the propeller. So you'll see there, I don't know if you can see, but the screws are still in the screw brackets uh, that you actually fit the propeller down onto. Uh, <laughs> but the propeller is not there anymore. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, take this apart. We're gonna put the new propellers on. We'll be right back with the rest of this video. Hey, are you finding this review is uh, ribbed for your pleasure? Well, if so, you can thank today's sponsor, The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots. Make sure you check them out online at thedroningcompany.com. You definitely want to check out their job board. They've got a second to none job board for commercial remote pilots based in the United States. Jobs from all over the country posted there. Companies looking for full-time staff positions for drone operators and drone experts, as well as one and two off gigs that you just get every once in a while. The best part is the droning company takes nothing off the top. If the job is listed at $300, guess what? You get to keep $300 from that job. The droning company does not dip into anything that you book on their website or 
off of their website because did I mention your pilot profile that you fill out when you sign up for the droning company, you can use that as a portfolio for external job opportunities too. It's a really great resource, really great asset to have for your professional pilot portfolio. And the best part is it's only $10 a month. That's right, just $120 for the year. You can also book an annual membership and save $20. So you can either go $10 a month or $100 upfront for the annual subscription and save a little bit of money. Either way, you get one job using your pilot profile, you've paid for your membership. Doesn't really matter. Make sure you check them out across all social media platforms as The Droning Company and on their website at thedroningcompany.com. We've got the propeller changed on to the drone. I looked at the other propellers. We do have some minor dings in a couple of the other ones. And I have a question about whether or not that was from when it fell and sort of freaked out on the ground and then motors didn't shut off immediately. I'm thinking that this had some damage done to it when it was sort of flailing around on the ground there. But the important thing is we've got the propeller that broke completely changed out. We're ready to go. And we only have one more test for this particular object. And I'm looking around. I don't know that we have anything else we could really crash this into other than the ground. And I'm not confident that I want to A, put my drone in a position where I'm using gravity as well as the throttle of the drone itself to bring it into the ground intentionally and B, that I can actually get that kind of trajectory in manual mode. <laughs> so let's go ahead, let's take a look. Last test, little nervous after that last one, we lost a whole propeller on that crash and I'm really hoping we don't again. Not that it's a huge deal, the propellers aren't super expensive, but man, only got so many of them. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead, let's get this in the air. Let's do one last test of the Rib Rider Duck Guard and, oh, I almost forgot the jock strap. Last test, the DJI Avada in sport mode at full speed. Here we go, three, two, Somebody just beat that me. So let's start that countdown again. Ready, three, two. Bingo, bingo. We are good. We were good. Man, we do have a little bit. Now it's not damaged though, it's just mud. Just landed in the mud. My God, Ken, thank you so much for continuing to innovate and create solutions that keep idiots like myself safe while they're flying. <laughs> I'm really impressed by this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed by the Rib Rider Duck Guards. I mean, it makes sense, these ribs sort of take the impact and they have a little bit of give to them it's not squishy can't be squishy or else there's no point but they have a little bit of give to them especially at higher impacts higher speed impacts I should say that allow it to sort of absorb that energy as it runs into whatever it's running into I'm really impressed with this overall I give the rib rider duck guards a 9.3 out of 10 on the rating scale whatever that means to you these are really great products. I've got the link for the Rib Rider Duck Guards in the description below. Remember, they only work with the DJI Avada. That's all that they're compatible with. So if you've got a different drone and you want something similar, you, you can either hit Ken up personally and see if he can do something for you or find something elsewhere. I, I don't know. As far as the jock strap goes, yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10. I, I, the Rib Rider, I got a lower score, 9.3 out of 10 because of the application. It's a little awkward, it really is. And I don't know that there's anything that Ken could have done to mitigate that awkwardness, make it a little bit easier to put on the drone and take off the drone for that matter. But it is a little bit of an awkward process. So I did dock him 0.7 points for that. Sorry, Ken, That's, I just gotta be honest with you. But the jock strap is easy to just slide in there, slide on, and it does its job well. I didn't lose the battery one time. Now, I've never lost the battery ever, but I've heard some horror stories from other people that have, not something I wanna mess around with. Uh, definitely not, especially since these batteries aren't cheap. So, like I said, 
Link for the Rib Rider Duck Guard is in the description below. I've also got the link for the jock strap if you're interested in that. Make sure you check out Ken's channel. If you found this channel, you probably have found Ken's channel anyway, but might as well give him a shout out. Really like the guy, really great content, really good products too. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button down below. Helps me out a lot, gets this out into the algorithm in front of viewers like you, people that love drones. If you really, really liked this video and you love drone content shot by drones, for drones, and about drones, this is also the channel for you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a lot, once again, getting us to a monetization level where I can start to reinvest money into the channel and do cooler and cooler stuff. Maybe get a little more aggressive with tests like these and put this thing full speed manual mode into the side of a brick wall. I don't know if we'll ever get to that point, but you can dream. If you love drone content, you love this channel, you love this video, and you want to get notified every time I post a new video, make sure you hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. While you're at it, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I am out of here. Woo! Switch it, switch it, ay, gonna switch it up. Switch it, switch it, ay, gonna switch it up. Ay, miss it, miss it, miss it. Boy, it in my cup. Switch it, switch it. Switch it up, flip a coin, you better choose a side, huh? Heads or tails.